be to Jesus. Gospel and a reflection from St. Luke chapter 18 verses 2 to 8. In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused. But later he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice, so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? God is God after all. His measuring rod is different from all the scales we apply to weigh the deeds of men. He scans us, our intentions more accurately than humans do. Have a look at the crushed and broken woman who knocks at the door of the judge with many entreaties in speeding her cause against her enemy. An exasperating condition for the judge. And equally grueling hours for the woman to be at the mercy or to beg justice from the person who outrightly denies her right to be heard. In a way, he is aghast at the woman's repeated disturbance and decides to take up the issue only to stop her from bothering him. The optimism keeps her going. The positive vibe coursing through her never lets negativity overpower her and she stands determined. This parable sets our foot on a firm rock, Jesus. He never tarries from listening to our supplications. He gently reminds us if a cruel judge could be lenient beyond one's expectation, how tenaciously God will incline his ear to our heart-rending cries. Dear friends, let us learn to tighten our grip into his hands, clinging to him alone, who can turn even the remote impossibility into possibility. Let us not keep him as the last option when every door is shut against us. Our God is a jealous God who longs to caress his children, feel one with them in their brokenness. Let us turn to him Look at him intently. Share some intimate moment with him. Experience the power of his living words. Crave to be at his side as our never failing friend. Long to be anointed by his living word. He is our sure answer and is at our beck and call. Only gather courage to turn to Him. Amen.